there, I care and you matter. I'm Shannon and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about two different types of index cards that I use and the different purposes I use for each. So first of all, I only there are tons of different varieties of index cards, size, color, type, quality. I try and keep it relatively simple. I purchase two and I use them religiously. I use the Target Up and Up Unruled or Blank Index Cards and I use the Oxford Heavyweight Ruled Index Cards and I only use a three by five size. Again, you can buy index cards in any size. This is just what works for me and I, I like to stay, I use the same size for everything. So first of all, let's talk about price. The Target Up and Up blank cards that I purchase, I spend about 75 cents for every hundred. Sometimes around back to school time in August, um, sometimes even July, September, you can get these on sale for 50 cents a package, but generally speaking year round, they're 75 cents. Now the Oxford heavyweight ruled cards, they're a bit more of an uh, investment. These are $2.99 usually for a hundred and I can only find these on Amazon. Now $2.99 Again, it's an investment. However, I can often find these on sale for $1.99 a package. And when I do, I stock up because again, I only use these two kinds of cards. Now let's look at the quality. I only buy the unruled target cards so I can know at a glance, oh, this is my cheapy card. They're very lightweight. The Oxford cards are not. You can hear the difference. So these are substantially thicker and um, take Sharpie much better than the Target cards. But I have plenty of uses that I use the Target cards for. So let's talk about those first. First of all, I use my cheapy Target Unruled Index cards for more short-term or in-the-moment uses. I use it for my grocery list. I have a stack of them in my purse for notes on the go. I have them on my desk for use as scratch paper if I'm in a meeting and I have to take notes or if I'm going into a meeting and there's something I want to remember to bring up or to ask, I write it on my cheapy blank index card. Uh, I use them for pop-up notes on my desk. I will make a note on a Sharpie or using whatever pen, fold it over, and then I can just have that stand on my desk at attention reminding me. Now, another way that I use these, and actually I'm gonna save that tip to the very end. You can do it with um, the heavy duty cards or the cheapy cards. I'm gonna save that to the end because it's my favorite tip. But generally speaking, when I'm using these Target cards, because they're in the moment, short-term use, when I'm done, they just get recycled. I don't keep them one and done and I don't feel bad because again, it's paper, it's not plastic. No, no, no harm, no foul. But when do I use the heavy duty cards, the heavyweight cards, and they are heavy duty. These I use for my longer term projects or investments. Like for example, reference information, contact information, um, project planning, if I'm planning out a book or I'm planning out an article or whatever project, I use these heavier weight cards because I'm going to be using them and flipping through them and I'm, I'm going to have, I've committed to these cards for a while, at least for a length of a project. I also use them for logging my ideas for potential future projects or books or videos. I also use them for um, commonplace my commonplace cards, so memes that I've printed out, sayings or aphorisms that I don't want to forget. Anything that I'm going to be using and referencing or flipping through in the future. So something that's going to last me more than a day or two, I'm going to be putting it on one of my heavyweight cards. That's not to say that the target cards won't work. They absolutely will. But for me, I like to know at a glance, one, okay, wait, is this my heavyweight? If it's my heavyweight, if it's ruled, I know that's going to be the, the strong heavy card. Is it my cheapy card? Can I just use this at will and not feel guilty about it? If it's blank, then I know that's the case. I also like the fact that I'm investing. I'm paying a little more money. I'm making an investment in using a supply that's really good quality that's going to help me do my job. Um, 
these decks, my project decks, again, I'll do another, I'll do a video on that in the future. But my decks help me stay organized and they help me work through a project much more linearly and much more efficient, efficiently and they help me be more productive. So that's worth the investment. But sometimes, oftentimes, I just want to get something down quickly so I don't forget it. So I can let it go out of my working memory. So maybe I'm struggling with something and I'm stressed out. I can jot it down on a cheapy index card and I don't have to feel bad about it. If I have to go through 10 cards, I don't feel guilty because there wasn't this huge financial investment. So those are the two different types and brands of index cards I use and how and why I use them in different ways. But let me share this tip that I came up with, this idea, this hack. And I haven't shared this in a video before, so I'm pretty excited. Now, you could use any card for this. Um, I was using my cheapy cards, but I'm going to go ahead and show this on a regular card. Or, excuse me, my heavyweight card. I was, full transparency, full disclosure, I was having a really crappy day the other day. I was just in a bad place, just depressed. It doesn't help that I live in the Pacific Northwest and we've been dealing with horrific weather. I, does the sun even exist anymore? <laughs> um, so I thought I have got to do something to turn this around. So what did I do? I turned to my handy dandy index card and out of desperation, I went and grabbed one of my bottles of essential oil. Now, I'm not a fanatic. I'm not going to proclaim that essential oils have health benefits. But what I will say is the smell of orange or lavender or peppermint, they just make me happy. Just like color. seeing color makes me happy. Smelling yummy, refreshing, citrusy things makes me feel better. So, you need an index card. You're going to need some essential oil or room spray. I've done that. Or perfume, anything, even vanilla out of your... Um, spice cabinet would work and then some kind of index card stand this is a hack that i shared in another video i use erasers and real quick i just take an exacto knife or a utility knife cut a groove in there about a third of the way through you got to be careful not to go all the way through and then um, that creates a place for your index card to stand so now how does all this work together I, again i was desperate i had a lot of work i had to get done but i was down i was blue and I wanted to feel better. So I took an index card. I'm not great at opening these, sorry. And then I took a couple drops. Literally only a couple because this is overwhelming if you get too much. I wouldn't do more than three. Oh, look. I could draw a smiley face. And then give it a second or two. You want the essential oil or the spray or whatever you're using to actually absorb into the paper because it, the oil can stain things. And you don't want that to happen. Give it a good shake. Again, you just want to make sure that it's not, no longer dripping. And then you just put it in the stand, and then you put it near where you're working. And then voila, you got a really easy, cheap, simple <laughs> essential oil aromatherapy diffuser. And I can't tell you how much better just a few minutes of this, um, what am I using now? Sweet orange. This essential oil made me feel better. Yeah, I can't see the sun, but this sure smells like sunshine. <laughs> even in my little office workspace. So I want to leave you with that final tip and maybe some of these different ideas have given you some insight or even just um, some more respect for the humble index card and the things that you can do with them. Thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please take a moment to give this video a quick like. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you join our community. Until the next video, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.